going on everybody? Today we're talking golf irons, specifically two popular categories, player's distance irons and player's irons. So whether you're a seasoned pro or a weekend warrior, it's best to understand the advantages and disadvantages of these two types of irons. Knowing the differences between these two types of irons can truly elevate your game. Throughout this video, we're gonna break down the pros and cons of each of these types of irons. We're gonna give you the tech. We're also gonna bring in the huge data set from our best player's distance testing and our best player's iron testing. First, we're gonna start out with player's distance irons. These irons have revolutionized the game of golf. Why? Because they offer the best of both worlds, distance and forgiveness. Let's take a look. Designed with cutting edge technology, player's distance irons combine the characteristics of game improvement irons and your traditional player's iron. Really solid examples are Strixon ZX5 MK2s, Mizuno Pro 225s, and Inesis Forge 900s. All right, so we're gonna talk about some advantages of player's distance irons. The first, and kind of the obvious one, is distance. Shocker, right? Player's distance irons feature stronger lofts and innovative club face designs that enable you to hit the ball further than other traditional irons. For example, PXG 0311 XP Gen 6 irons. While they didn't perform well overall in testing, they destroyed the rest of the field in terms of distance. Why? One of the reasons is a thinner face. PXG utilizes an HT 1770 face design. It's a variable thickness which allows for 15% thinner face than their previous line of irons, the Gen 5s. But you and I both know distance isn't everything. There are two other key components when choosing a best player's distance iron for your game. Forgiveness and accuracy. Most player's distance irons offer enhanced forgiveness. How do they do this? They have more perimeter weighting, a lower center of gravity, and advanced dampening systems to offer better miss hits and overall improved accuracy. So even if you don't strike the ball perfectly, you can be confident that you'll have consistent outcomes even on misfires and hopefully less frustration. For 2023 testing, we saw the Inesis Forge 900 and the Adele SMS both offer some of the best numbers for forgiveness. So we've talked about advantages of using a player's distance iron, but now what are the disadvantages or why you may not choose to play a player's distance iron? The first disadvantage is that player's distance irons excel with distance and forgiveness. Due to their game improvement-like design, such as larger club heads and more offset hosels, unfortunately, they will potentially limit shot shaping ability, especially for the more seasoned or advanced player. Another trade-off or disadvantage of player's distance iron is the reduced feel and feedback they provide. Although these clubs offer incredible forgiveness, they lack that buttery smooth sensation when you hit the crisp clean shot that most golfers will appreciate. Or in other words, flushing your iron. Hmm? Have you always been like that or did you just practice it? No, when, I, when I'm flushing it, I don't take divots. Now let's chat about player's irons. These irons are designed with a skilled golfer in mind. The primary advantage of player's irons is their exceptional workability and shot shaping capabilities. Player's irons feature sleeker top lines, less offset, enabling more experienced players to manipulate their ball flight to produce their desired shot shape. You've definitely seen this with the pros watching shot tracers on TV. Find the fairway, avoid the traps at all costs. Whether it's a high draw or a controlled fade, player's irons offer a high degree of shot customization. Really good examples of this through our player's iron testing are Mizuno JPX 923 Tours, on ZX7 MK2s, and Ping I-230 irons. If you crave the unmistakable feel and feedback, along with customizing your shot shape, the Mizuno JPX 923 Tours are ridiculously good. The Mizunos finish first in accuracy and second in forgiveness. But if you're looking purely for distance, the 14 TB7 is the way to go. It finished first overall in distance and sixth overall in our testing, just missing out on the top five. However, with great control comes a reduction in forgiveness. Players' irons have a smaller sweet spot and less perimeter weighting. 
making them less forgiving on off-centered strikes, especially in comparison to players' distance irons. Lastly, and probably the most popular disadvantage of a player's iron versus a player's distance iron is their lack of distance. While still capable of impressive yardages, the main focus is shot shaping and precision rather than maximizing distance. Take the first place finisher in distance for player's irons and player's distance irons. The 14 TB7 and the PXG0311 XP Gen 6 iron. Using our raw data, the PXG0311 XP was nearly 11 yards longer at 182 yards versus the 14 TB7 at 171 yards. Now that we've discussed each category, who should be playing a player's iron and who should be playing a player's distance iron? The true answer lies in the skill level and the player's preference. If you're an experienced player who values workability, shot shaping, and the gratifying feeling of a well-struck shot, player's irons are probably your best bet. These irons showcase skill and precision, allowing you to fully showcase your golfing prowess. On the other hand, if you are a golfer that desires maximum distance, forgiveness, and help on off-center hits, player's distance irons are for golfers who are looking for the best of both worlds, a balance between distance and forgiveness with a touch of shot shaping capabilities. Honestly, most of us fit into this category. I know I do. And none of us want to make golf harder than it already is. So we've talked about players irons, players distance irons. What's the difference between the two? The pros, the cons, the tech. You may be asking, well, what if I combine the two? Turns out you can. Most manufacturers are offering a combo or blended set of the two, where you do the longer irons and the player's distance irons for more forgiveness and distance, and then you have the shorter irons and a player's irons for more control, precision, and accuracy. So, what are you choosing? Enhanced distance and increased forgiveness, or precision and workability? Let us know in the comments below. All right, that's a wrap. We hope this comparison between players distance irons and players irons has been helpful. If you want to dig through all the data, check out the top five finishers in each corresponding category, or just go buy some new iron. Check out the links below and they'll take you to our brand new website. Remember to subscribe and until next time, peace.